Hello, this is Clayton with the Aeromotive Research and Development Group. Today we've got another cooling system performance presentation for Synmax University. If you have any technical questions, uh, send us an email here at office at aeromotiveresearch.com. Today we're going to be talking about heat transfer performance. This is a good learning experience. So strap on in your seat and let's go. Effective heat transfer performance requires three basic elements. Number one, a qualified heat transfer chemistry with sufficient fluid flow. In other words, the coolant fluid created with a specific formulation has to specifically be designed to receive and hold the transference of the heat energy which was covered in our previous presentation through the coolant system from the engine through to the radiator, cooling tubes and tank, and then back to the engine. It's called convection. Now number two, the engine coolant system passages have to be clean. Now here's where it's not clean. If the surfaces are contaminated with rust, oxidation control, corrosion and minerals, it's hard for the fluid to pull the heat from these uh, uh, surfaces to carry the heat and heat energy to the radiator and from the radiator back to the engine. A clean radiator surface inside and out with sufficient airflow. Number three, you see, the cooling tube's tank at the smallest molecular surface level needs to have continual cleanliness for the heat energy which is carried from the engine surface through the heat transfer chemistry to touch and come in direct contact with fresh, clean surface without any mineral insulation deposits for the cooling of the heated fluid. And if it's dirty, it doesn't happen. In other words, when this takes place, then you have successful heat transfer and uh, uh, for cool air to pass by and around the cooling tubes, fins and tank as needed for the heated molecules of the fluid to transfer the heat. Now you might look at this and say, wow, that's a brand new radiator. No, that's a radiator with 2,000 racing miles. Why? Because they use Synmax water cooler. Synmax water cooler is, works with the water, has a 5% treat rate. We'll get into this and it, it helps in the cooling system, heat transfer, and uh, 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 reducing the problems, providing protection. See, you have to have distilled water, all right? Distilled water has excellent heat transfer properties. While flowing at very high speeds, the water friction tension makes it difficult to release water vapor from the metal surface into the coolant to be further transferred and dispersed. See, under heavy low conditions, much of the heat energy within the cylinder head and cylinder walls are transferred by localized boiling at the hot spot areas, even though the remainder of the cooling solution within the system is, is below the boiling point. You see, you need thermal heat transfer with performance repeatability to successfully transfer and carry away the heat energy from the hot metal surfaces to the radiator, and this can only be accomplished with distilled water and a qualified coolant system treatment. One of the things that, are, that is important is the cooler you keep the cylinder head, the less the octane numbers have to be. All right? So if you, the NOx sensors that are used for injection won't work for a carbureted engine. So you have to work with a qualified coolant to be able to keep the cool water flowing through the head and transferring the heat. All right, uh, we've got simulations here that we can be able to share with you. In the end, it's 100% dil distilled water with a qualified cool coolant treatment, such as water cooler, that is the best. For overall coolant system efficiency increase, we have to use distilled water with a qualified coolant product, such as the water cooler treatment. So here's the bottom line results, all right? When you have distilled water and a qualified coolant treatment under racing and performance conditions, you will be able to pull uh, about five degrees off the cylinder head, cylinder walls, and combustion chamber. That's a lot of heat energy, four to five degrees. Furthermore, at the radiator, uh, even up to 120 degrees, the delta T difference, that's the difference between the inlet and the outlet, will be about 37 to 40 degrees improvement 
you will improve the difference between uh, the cold and the hot. You will improve the heat transfer. Why? Because the chemistry is designed to pull the heat, bring it into the radiator, transfer the heat out with the cold air going past it. Here was a test that was done with a, a, a national place in the Detroit and Dearborn area with an engineering firm. And in the end, the water cooler uh, product was able to uh, provide the greatest performance difference at the cylinder head, heat transfer, and at the radiator. Now what happened here was that uh, here was like Prestone used on the right and then the water cooler on the left. You can see the delta T difference which was close to 40 degrees difference from the hot to the cold and as the hotter it got the more it worked the better it did. So again, the delta T is the difference between the inlet hot and the outlet cool with the air passing over it. The water cooler chemistry was able to outperform uh, all the other products including even Presto. Here is a more detailed situation of that delta T difference. You can see with the water cooler chemistry that the delta T difference was 40 degrees. Now what's that mean? the inlet temperature was 163 degrees, 164 degrees Fahrenheit. The outlet temperature was close to 130. So the average was 34 degrees difference with a high of 40 degrees. The other product only had a delta T difference of 15. Now if you don't use this, the difference would be about 25 degrees if you were to use just the water with another coolant system product. The water cooler did a tremendous job. Now, the bottom line results was this, all right? With the use of a qualified coolant treatment with distilled water under racing and automotive performance conditions of up to 120 degrees, thermal performance repeatability can be achieved with these results. Pulling up to 5 degrees off the cylinder head walls and combustion chamber, radiator heat energy transfer delta T with sufficient fluid and airflow up to 100 excuse me, up to 40 degrees difference, even under 120 degree Fahrenheit repeatable condition. What product was used? The Synmax water cooler, as we mentioned. This is why it's able to do what the other products are not able to, not cutting them down. Reducing the cylinder head and combustion head and overall temperatures. Reducing and keeping and maintaining clean coolant system passages reducing alloy gas and system pressure down to zero other than common pressure that is normally used. The alloy gases don't come out. It is a tremendous uh, product to protect the steel from rust and aluminum with corrosion. Now if you want to be able to use a product that's a complete coolant product, that's going to be the water cooler premix. All right, Simple and easy to use, guaranteed quality with the uh, correct treat rate. You might say, Clayton, well, who uses this product? Well, we've got an IndyCar uh, Manufacturer Championship for 2012, 13, 14, and 15, and 16. Used in the V6 uh, turbocharged engine, producing about 700 horsepower, close to 12,000 RPMs. This motor has to last 2,500 miles in these conditions without failure. This is the people that chooses this. Now, uh, it, it's even chosen to be used, and here's a radiator with close to uh, uh, 5,000 mi racing miles on it. You've got a uh, uh, engine build uh, from the dyno to the engine build to all race operations under technical directive and race operations is the water cooler treatment product. Now, when they needed to use the uh, IndyCar engine builder, when they needed to use a product in the winter, they would use the Aeromotive Coolant product. It's a bio-based, high-performance product uh, used for the uh, colder temperature and uh, for the requirements on that. The Aeromotive Coolant is a bio-based product. It has an anti-boil and pressurized to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, cold down to about uh, 75 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, below zero. It has no petroleum glycols and has all the performance characteristics of the water cooler treatment product. 
Aeromotive coolant was developed in racing and with proven durability, yet it's designed for the military, marine, and commercial automotive and gasoline or diesel, extreme duty, long life applications for the winter or the desert. That comes to the end of our pro uh, presentation here on heat transfer performance. If you have any technical questions, please get a hold of us at office at aeromotiveresearch.com. As Wayne Lensing says, uh, racing radiator cleanliness and performance equals championship results. So do you desire to, to purchase this product? Please contact uh, us at uh, synmaxoil.com. Uh, in the Chicagoland area, give us a call at 815-389-9999. So on behalf of Wayne Lensing, Danny Lensing, Performance Parts Supply, Left Hander Chassis Group, and Synmax Performance Lubricants, thank you for our time together. And again, if you have any questions, just send us an email at office at aeromotiveresearch.com, and we'll see you at the next presentation.